Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how we do a quadrat vegetation survey. These are two by two meter quadrats where we look at the percentage of different vegetation types and the vegetation height. These are annual surveys that happen once a year in either June, July or August. The reason behind the surveys is that we want to be able to track the average types of vegetation and their vegetation height throughout the project and see how they change as well as seeing how the percentage of bare sand also changes across the project timescale. To be able to do this survey you'll need a few things. The first is a GPS which you can either download an app on your phone or have a handheld GPS unit. The second is a compass. Again you can download an app or you can have a handheld compass. Then you also need a long tape measure a short tape measure or a metre stick and then four marking canes that are going to be the edges of your quadrat. The last thing you need is either your phone with the Dynamic Dunescapes app downloaded on it with your GPS coordinates or a data sheet that you can write down that data and that also has those GPS coordinates on it. Okay, I'm now going to show you how we do this survey. Step one. Use your GPS to find the beginning of the quadrat. This will also be marked out by a wooden post, except on the mobile dunes. Step two, use your compass to figure out where north is. So for me, it's that way. Once you've figured out where north is, you then want to use your tape measure to go two meters north of where that wooden post is. If you're on the mobile dunes and there isn't a wooden post, then you start where that GPS was. Once you've marked out where your first corner of the quadrat is going to be, you then again use your compass and go two meters north, put another marker cane in, then two meters east, marker cane, then two meters south, marker cane, and then two meters west to join up and form your two by two meter square quadrat. So once you've marked out your two by two meter quadrat, you can now start collecting data. The first thing you want to collect data on is the percentage cover of the different vegetation types. So essentially you look at your two by two meter square and you need to estimate the percentage cover of the following. Bare sand, mosses and lichen, grasses, sedges and rushes, herbs, heath and shrubs, and trees and scrub. So. I have a look here and if I start off with the bare sand I can see that there's 0% bare sand. The next one, mosses and lichen. If I'm looking carefully I can't see any mosses or lichen here so I go on to the next one, grasses, sedges and rushes. There's nothing of that either here. The next one are herbs, so herbs can include things like this bracken. So we can see that there is quite a bit of bracken here. Now to be able to estimate just the percentage of that bracken, it's quite hard to look at your whole two by two meter square. An easier way to think of it is to try and think of what would happen if all this bracken came up together and formed in a small corner of the quadrat. So if I do it like that, I can then use the lines of the tape measure to get a more accurate estimation of the percentage of bracken inside of it. If there is only a very small amount of a type of plant, type, if it's less than 1%, then you can mark it as 0.5% on your data sheet or on the app. Altogether, you will know if you've done the survey right if all the percentages add up to 100% or if they exceed 100%. It's okay if they exceed because you might have mosses growing underneath the heather. But it's really important here that you're looking really, really carefully and making sure that you are accounting for all the different vegetation types that might be in your quadrat. Next, we can do the data of the vegetation heights. The best way to do this is to split your quadrat into quarters. You're then measuring the vegetation height in each of the middle of the quarters and in the middle of the entire quadrat as well. You want to be ignoring any really, really tall plants here and just getting the average plant height. So 
So for example, I'll start off in the middle. I can put my meter ruler here, or you can use a tape measure. And you're just marking it off of the average of where that vegetation is landing. So for here, it's about 16 centimeters. And that's it. You've completed your vegetation quadrat survey. To submit the data, you can either write it down in your data sheet and give it to your activity leader or email it to the Dynamic Genescapes email address, or you can just enter it directly into the app, click send, and away you go.